Um, my name is Peter Pawsey. I am the executive chair of the Rural Regeneration Zone, which is part of Advantage West Midlands. It's the delivery vehicle for uh, West, uh, Advantage West Midlands money into Shropshire, Herefordshire and Western Worcestershire. We have um, four strategic objectives, economy, skills, environment and quality of life. And within quality of life, it's about bringing uh, part of it is bringing services to communities. So one of our programs is to produce a series of uh, multi-use facilities such as this to the uh, various centres in the, in the area and we have a program which has produced seven so far, we've got another five in the pipeline and three more further down the line. The community are very much behind it and that's absolutely essential to any any of these projects, they have to be community led. Um, it, without that, um, A, they won't start, but secondly, they won't continue because this is the beginning, not the end, uh, as far as the community is concerned. Uh, my name is Paul Roberts and I'm the centre manager. We offer a licensed community cafe bar. We have a main hall which can showcase any cultural event hopefully we, we want to put on, from theatre through to cinema, through to live performances. We have a gallery in the front of the building and we have uh, media suites upstairs as well. The town hall is actually um, run from the school through a community trust. Um, the relationship is, is a fluid working environment where the school actually offers us many opportunities which many other uh, venues in the area might not be able to actually facilitate and it's a partnership we're looking to develop more and more as the weeks come on and the months develop. I'm Neil Hemming, I'm head teacher of Thomas Adams and I'm also chairman of the Wem Town Hall Community Trust. So we have our sixth form students, our level three students coming to, uh, to the town hall for industry standard uh, classrooms, fantastic equipment and teachers able to, to do brilliantly within those, with those resources. In addition, fantastic that uh, we've got the, the performance area and the performance space. So we can have students coming here, could be for music, could be for drama, special events. So recently for Holocaust Day we had some of our RE students down here listening to, to a speaker for that. So for, for the school, an absolute asset, fantastic boom for the school as a whole. Facilities right in the heart of the community, so we're able to put events on right in the heart of the community, invite the community in. Um, to see those events so you know I, I think of the the first light movies events where the uh, first light movies were premiered if you think of the audience there tremendous all ages fantastic age range uh, coming in to, to see that as a community facility uh, the community is here the community is engaged and the community is there willing to, to participate uh, in the facility and you know brilliant to see the involvement the engagement of the community. It's great to have the high street full and to have a centrepiece of the high street like this with so many things going on um, is, is a really good thing. Yeah. So yes I am pleased, especially as I'm, as I'm a resident of the town. It's, it's to do with art, it's to do with entertainment, it's to do with media and it looks like there's, it feels exciting, it looks like there's potential here so as, as a resident I'm looking forward to getting involved.
my name's Tina Healy and I'm the manager of Craven Arms Community Centre. You know, we do regular things every day in terms of things like we've got uh, badminton and school of dance, youth groups, gymnastics, nifty fifties, a range of different things that are on every week. And these are the things that people can join in with. Then we've got the private hire where people will book a room for a meeting, for training, that kind of thing. So it's a whole variety of stuff. And then you get your one-off events like this as well. So we do anything and everything. We've also got a preschool up in the back corner as well. The community have quite a say in how, how, the build, you know, how things happen here in terms of events. Uh, we're a group of about 20 and we've all got a few paintings hanging up. <laughs> yes, and that's a long time. And then my, my group are, are distributed uh, dis in, in May. We're displaying our stuff in May. So we all have a month each to display our work. So we're hoping for lots of visitors during that time. <laughs> it's a whole community, everybody uses it and it's great and it's one of the things since the building's been done we've been able to have a lot more events so we've brought a lot more of the local community into the centre um, and they're really proud of it, they really like it and we now get people coming and say, well like a gentleman a couple of weeks ago came and said would we put on a hobby fair because he's got you know, something that he was particularly keen on um, and he felt there was lots of other people so we, yeah okay, so we're putting on a hobby fair for him and we've got great interest in it so it's nice when they're actually sort of not dictating but sort of showing the way with the centre. Most any, anything that's on here we can call in. Yes, yeah. anything that's on we can we come along. Yes, it's worthwhile. Yeah, both yes, of them. Really yeah, really we are. Really. Yes we are. It's roomy, airy, light, refreshments. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a good venue for things like this because yeah. it's so light. Yes. You know, yeah. We like it we yeah. like it for our exhibitions that we have. Well, I think what we find with, with users is, uh, is that once we get them in the door to do something, they'll often stay and, and engage in more things, which is obviously is beneficial for them. George is a, a, one of our users, which is a sort of a person I use for example. Um, he originally came here, I'm not sure whether it's for a computer class or for tea dance, and he now comes three times a week where he comes and he runs our tea dance, he comes to the computer club every week, and he also comes to Nifty Fifties. So, and you know, and he, he's an elderly gentleman, you know, and it keeps him active and fit and things, so it's good, and we find that with a lot of them. The services that have been arranged now are the Sure Start Children's Services, which will be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, 52 weeks of the year, and the Library Service have opened their branch library in the Bell Ringing Tower, and they'll be having 10 hours worth of sessions split over four days. All of those services are free. Um, we're also working with the Herefordshire Voluntary Action Group to see if there's some way that we can base their outreach worker within the church building to look after the Golden Valley. Um, we have a five-year business plan which we're looking to undertake concerts, film clubs, summer film clubs for children, um, private functions, children's parties, um, clubs and societies hiring us for their own use. I'm the Principal Library Officer for Herefordshire Council and what we've done is work very closely with the local community here to try and, and bring some new services into, into the, the village. Uh, as far as we're aware this is unique uh, as having a, a church with a library in it uh, so it's a new venture there's a lot of planning gone into it over the months and we've had great support from uh, the church here and from the local community who've really embraced the idea oh gosh there's lots of really super things about the center uh, i mean you can see we're in the library and that's wonderful well i shall i'm a, going to become a volunteer in the library um, i'm also on the management committee for the for the the, the church i'm on the pcc I'm a bell ringer as well, and we're in the ringing chamber, so I should be ringing the bells. So generally, be very busy here. I'm sure a lot, of, you know, quite a lot of time.
My name's Zoe Griffin and I'm the manager of the Shropshire Hills Discovery Centre in Craven Arms. Uh, we're a multi-use facility that has a mixture of services both for the local community and for um, the visitor market. So we've got the community library, we've got a paid visitor attraction about the Shropshire Hills, we've got a cafe, we've got 30 acres outside called Beyond Meadows, um, we do school visits, meetings, most things people come along and ask us if we can do, I usually try and say yes. <laughs> um, one of the things that the money did was move the community library, which was attached to the primary school, but the library service recognised that that was an issue for some people who thought that it was only for the school. Um, it was only open part-time and it was single staffed. So th that is a resource, bringing the library here dramatically increased its availability. We're open seven days a week, we're open bank holidays, we're open two evenings till nine um, and the library use has just dramatically increased across the board um, which is against national trends. Um, we've also now got a customer first point which there didn't exist at all in Craven Arms before. Uh, so five days a week local residents can come in and get advice. It's also given us more impetus to work with the community centre in Graven Arms. Uh, it was a, our project was a joint project with them. The library, the discovery centre and the community centre before this happened had very distinct groups of customers um, who for whatever reason didn't go in the other two of the buildings and I think actually it's helped people realise what they can do and what's available to them by us all working together. So I think people are getting more value for money out of us just because their awareness is better now than it was before. My name is Richard Priest and I'm the general manager here at the Seven Centre in Hailey. Uh, we've got a number of community focused services we offer. Um, we've got the community hall which offers a number of uh, different facilities. The church uh, have their church meetings here every week um, and then moving through we've got, um, we also have some social events there on Saturday evenings etc, quiz nights. And then if we move through the centre we've got um, our outdoor football pitches, uh, we've got a social area, we've got the local library, um, the police station offers services from here as well, as well as childcare and then we've got a sports hall with all the other sports facilities, our outdoor tennis um, and obviously the swimming pool that you can see behind me. Well prior to the centre being built there was a mixed match of facilities, there was an old pavilion, an old welfare hall stroke village hall um, and then the swimming pool behind me with some very rundown swimming and changing rooms um, and since the funding the, the centre itself has been built so um, we've got a brand new facility that's, uh, that's been built since then um, with much more updated and modern facilities uh, and the majority of the building can be used and adapted in a number of different ways so it can be used for different facilities and different uh, activities. Uh, the majority of our income is, is, is people coming through the doors and, and paying us. Um, we receive some grant funding still from Shropshire Council which enable us to uh, ensure the building's open and we also um, get some grant income from the highest parish council. Um, who are also um, very generous in their benefit each year. Uh, we, try to, we try to listen as much as we can to the community. I think we, uh, the centre, are very the community are very pleased to have such a fantastic facility on their doorstep.